Okay, so I actually filmed this video this morning, and I'm slightly annoyed that I had to refilm the whole thing because my phone froze and didn't save the video. But let's try this again. So for about a month, I've been trying to make more videos for you guys, but I have not been motivated to. Like I have this whole long list of all these videos that I know would be like really helpful for you guys. It's like three steps to live your purpose, you know, three signs you're living your purpose, all these things about believing in yourself, living your purpose, finding your personal power. But I cannot find the motivation to do those types of videos. And in part, that is because in one month, I'm giving a TEDx talk in Lander, Wyoming about how to find your personal power and purpose. And so most of my brain power is focused on getting my speech right and getting things set up for that. Um, but I did do want to make videos for you guys. So uh, today I'm going to, I'm going to start trying to share videos just every day when I'm out practicing my speech. I'm going to try to share um, just some short thoughts that I've been thinking because I'm, I don't lack inspiration to share with you guys and just some little thoughts I can share with you guys. Um, so yeah, as I'm, uh, let's, let's call these ranch walk talks that I'm going to share with you guys. These ranch walk talks that um, hopefully add some value to your life. So if this is your first time to our channel here at Making Mindfulness Fun, we help you on your journey to higher consciousness so you can experience more joy, love, and emotional liberation. Uh, my name is Gabby, and I help you unlock your inner warrior, your inner warrior that has personal power, feels purposeful, and truly lives a life that is liberated from all those uh, negative emotions because you're embodying the warrior self, not to fight some opponent out there, but because you are the biggest thing standing in your way from your dreams and your purpose. So let's dive into today's video. Today, I just want to talk a little bit about believing in yourself. Believing in yourself is something that I didn't realize was such a, an important part of what, you know, my like, uh, that I didn't, I didn't think it was so important because it was so, such a natural byproduct for me, this thought process that I'm about to share with you guys. Okay, so there is likely something out there that you deeply, truly want. Everyone has a dream. Everyone has these dream experiences that they want to have. Not necessarily, you know, I want to have all these material things. A lot of times that is just a byproduct of not having the real dream. We end up wanting material things because we don't have the real thing that we dream, that dream that we want. So whatever that dream is, you know, could be get your book published. It could be to create this new passion business, passion-based business. Um, it could be something to do with your relationship. You have this dream out there that you want. Now, a lot of people get in the bad habit of not, uh, uh, not achieving their dream, never living their dream, because they start to tell themselves this silly story. So how, here's how the silly story goes. It goes something like, well, I can't because I have this limitation on myself. So, you know, let's say like you have this dream, this, let's just make up a situation. Let's say you want to climb Mount Everest and you have that dream, I want to climb Mount Everest. And then you go say, well, I'm never going to be strong enough. I'm not strong enough and I'm never going to be strong enough to do that. So you just put a limitation on yourself. Now, you also have a lot of people who have these dreams of businesses. I want to go live this lifestyle, travel the world. But these people say that I shouldn't and I have to do other things. You guys know, if you listen to my other videos, I talk about contracts a lot. We have all these contracts that we think we're in with other people. When people say things, think we're in contracts. Burn those contracts, okay? You're not in a contract to anyone but yourself, but you have to choose inner values, okay? That's a side note. But the only reason that what you have, what you dream of, you don't have yet, is because you put all these silly limitations on yourself. And we say things like, they said, and I have, and I can't. But the only reason we have those limitations is because of the fact that it's actually a defense mechanism for the, for the truth that we don't believe in ourselves. So if you end up making excuses, so if you have a dream and you have not achieved that dream and you are not in the process of currently working toward that dream, then it is more than likely going to reflect that you have thoughts and beliefs in your mind that you don't believe in yourself. Anything out there is a reflection of what you feel about yourself, or at least the things you notice about the external world are reflections of what you don't believe in yourself. So if you say, this person thinks I have too much social anxiety, you think you have too much social anxiety. That person thinks you're not strong enough, or I'm not strong enough, you just don't think you're strong enough. This is a mental capacity. It's not that you're actually not strong enough. You have this mental capacity that you won't be strong enough. So that's the first thing. Now, the first thing, so the, you are 
completely capable of living every single one of the dreams you have. They're all achievable. All these limitations you put on yourself are a manifestation of your own belief system. Now, here's your motivation to get over that. What happens is that we've got the, uh, we got the limitation, right? Now, the reason we don't ever overcome that is because we've got these three steps between where you are now and living your dream. You've got here where you are, that's present moment, and you've got this um, period, this space between where you are now and where you want to go to achieve your dreams. That, that time point in, in the future is that point where you have achieved that dream. Now in the middle, there's, all the, there's this barrier, barrier period. And that barrier period is essential because you cannot live the dream without having to overcome barriers because the barrier period is where you obtain the skill set that gives you the capacity to experience the dream. The barrier is what gives you the skill set that creates the capacity for you to, to experience and live your dream. Okay, remember that part. So what happens is that we don't believe in ourselves because we're so busy staring at that middle point between here, where you are now, where you want to go. We're so busy staring at that midpoint and that's the point where you're going to struggle, you're going to fail, you're going to look like a complete idiot and that is okay. And we're so busy staring so detailed at that wall. That wall is going to be so terrible. Oh my gosh, look how dense the bricks are on that wall that we're not even looking at the vision anymore. And this is how people lose sight of their visions. This is how people get unmotivated to fulfill their dreams. So when you look at this wall right here, you have to notice that, hey, I'm looking at the wall right there. And first of all, it is completely okay to fail. We still, we like hear the quotes all the time that, oh, failure is good, failure is necessary, but it takes a lot more than just conceptualizing it. We have to actually embody that understanding that I am going to fail. I'm going to look like an idiot. And when I look like an idiot over and over again in this massive imperfect action that is required, working through these obstacles, by doing that over and over and over again, and not caring if you look like an idiot or if you fail, you're going to obtain the skill set that is needed to get to the other side. So once you know that, then you have to start looking at the vision again. It does you no good to stare at the wall. You deal with the obstacles as they come up. But if you lose sight of the vision and the dream, you will lose your motivation to achieve your highest expression of yourself in your life. So today, just think about those things I said. Are you putting yourself in contracts with what other people say? Are you staring at your failures so closely that you're forgetting about the vision? What is the vision? How is it gonna feel? What is that moment gonna look like? And know that if you just keep pursuing and you take massive and perfect action anyway, and you fail, but it's okay because you love yourself enough that even when you fail, then you know you're still worthy. One day you'll wake up and you'll realize that you have the skill set to achieve your dream life. And then another day you're gonna wake up and you'll realize that that skill set has indeed allowed you to experience and wake up to your dream life. Thank you for joining me. I hope you guys like this little ranch walk talk here. Um, I'll try to do more videos like this. No promises, because I have troubles with consistency for the last month or two. But fortunately, Isabel and Robin have been so good about posting videos on our YouTube channel. Um, comment below if those videos I said, three steps to live your purpose, and you know, three signs you're living your purpose, and how to believe in yourself. If those are videos you guys would be interested in. Um, thank you for watching. Namaste.